welcome back to my channel um i hope you guys are all doing well before i get started with this video um i just want to say that i hope everybody is safe right now i know everybody is stuck in quarantine so um that is the reason why i'm actually filming this video i dyed my hair because what else do you do when you're bored and it's day eight of quarantine i wanted to dye my hair for the longest time you guys i've had like jet black hair my whole life i've never dyed my hair so if you guys want to know how we did this we did it all at home obviously we bought everything from CVS and Sally's so I'm gonna show you guys all the products that we used and how we did it in case you guys want to dye your hair at home um, we're not professionals but you know we did our research hopefully this video can help you guys a little bit if you guys are thinking about doing something like this luckily it turned out pretty well um, this was the results so if you guys want to see me transition from black hair to this like caramelly like darker brown hair then just keep watching all right guys so to begin we started off by dyeing my hair without bleaching it at first um we're using the l'oreal high color and this was in the shade soft brown and we did mix the color with a 30 volume developer we wanted to use 30 volume because we wanted to see how much um it can lift my hair without bleaching it so the reason we did this at first was because we wanted to avoid using bleach um, to start off. We thought that my hair would lift a few shades if we just dyed it brown. But unfortunately, my hair was super, super dark, so that did not end up working. We went through about three bottles of a hair dye, of brown hair dye, and um, it didn't lift my color at all. So if you have like darker hair or similar to my hair color, I would definitely recommend um, just going straight for bleach. Um, like I said, we just wanted to avoid the damage of bleach because I've never dyed my hair, but um, it just didn't work. The good thing though was that for this session, my roots were lifted a lot. So when I did bleach my hair, I didn't have to apply bleach to the root of my hair so that was good so after we dyed my hair um and i washed it and straightened it this was the result clearly there was not a major difference only around my roots um we didn't show it here but mostly around my roots was where you can see like a touch of brown so since that didn't work on the second day we moved on to bleach we're using the l'oreal quick blue bleach and we're gonna mix it with the l'oreal developer and we are using um a 20 developer for the bleach because like i said we wanted to avoid as much damage since i do have a lot of hair so next um my sister just sectioned off my hair she's gonna work from bottom to top she was using this little paddle thing from I believe Sally's um, this just helps to apply the bleach a lot neater than to just like kind of spread it all over the place you got to make sure that your hair is combed nicely so that when you apply the bleach and you wrap it in the foil that it's not gonna be streaky it's gonna be very like nice and clean so she made sure to apply it as neat as possible Also, she did take um, thicker pieces of my hair because I have a lot, a lot of hair, you guys. And um, she's only applying the bleach on top, so she's not applying the bleach behind my hair, if that makes any sense. So she's strictly applying the bleach just on the top surface of my hair. So the bleaching process took maybe about an an hour to 40 minutes um, for her to just kind of bleach my whole head because we did have to bleach um, everything just because my hair wasn't lifted at all except for my roots like I said earlier so yeah she did not bleach um, my roots she only went like kind of like maybe like um, an inch right below my root And my hair was um, in the tin foils for maybe an hour, I want to say, um, especially the pieces at the bottom. So for the pieces in the bottom, they got lifted a lot more because they were um, wrapped a lot longer. Since our bleach was low volume and we didn't leave it in for 
too long my hair it lifted but it could have lifted a little lighter ha had i left it in longer but we just didn't want to risk it so we left it in for about an hour um once my sister started unwrapping the bottom you can see that the bottoms were a lot blonder than the top um the top pieces were in for like i said maybe close to an hour maybe 40 minutes You can see it doesn't look streaky and it did lift a lot. It's a lot more brown, red, orangey tone. So after this is when we moved on to our toner. All right, and for our toner, we used Wella. Um, this is the Color Charm Wella toners. We used the shades 711 and 811. We didn't have a clue on how to pick a toner out we should have done more research on that we ended up picking a light blonde shade and a medium blonde shade and we just mixed the two because we just thought it might look good <laughs> and right here my sister is just gently applying the toner all over my hair we just wanted to make sure that the orange was out of my hair from the bleach because this is my hair right after bleach um so toner is supposed to like give you a different shade and yeah she just was gently applying this all over my head we did mix this with a 30 volume developer if any of you were wondering And you guys can see here that the pieces um, closer to the bottom of my hair were a lot more lighter because the bleach was in longer. So those pieces look a little bit more blonde slash orange. So she made sure to apply a lot of extra toner to those parts. And I did leave the toner in my hair for about 30 minutes. Um, we didn't wrap my head with anything. Um, if we had, I feel like my hair would have came out a little bit lighter, but we didn't. Um, but after 30 minutes, I did go wash it off with conditioner once again. So here's my hair after the shower. Um, this is my hair still wet. So as you can see, my sister is getting prepared to um, dry it so we can really see how the color came out. So as you can see, um, a lot of the orangey pieces um, disappeared. It kind of just blended in super nicely. Once it dried, um, I did, you know, start curling my hair just to really get an idea of how it looked. And honestly, I was really happy with how it turned out. I was going for a more natural brown color. Um, my hair was super dark before, so as you can see, I still have some, you know, darker tones in my hair which I don't mind because I feel like it gives it a more natural look but ultimately I'm just super super happy with how it came out so this is what it looks like once my hair is curled and done Anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. I hope it was helpful to some of you. And like always, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.